Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude. I did a poll a while back on what figures I should review and where. I think the most popular one by far was Spinosaurus in a swamp. And as you can see, I'm in a swamp. That's pretty cool. Might be more of a pond, but it's beautiful, so I, I chose it well. Um, so this figure came out in Canada, where I live, a while back, like a few months ago. and. It was pretty popular. Everyone really wanted it. When I first saw the promo images, the paint job on it was a lot lighter um, than its release. Like a lot of these darker colors, like on the back and the um, reds on the snout, looked a lot more, um, a lot more pinkish, a lot more um, kind of bland. But when the figure was released, all the colors were nice, solid. They stood out well. Um, this solid line right here in the original Legacy Collection one, it was more of a sprayed on streak. But now you can see it has structure, nice pattern, and um, overall fits well with the lineup. I actually uh, could see this figure being released with the first um, wave in 2018. It definitely fits with that aesthetic or vibe. Now, for its paint job in general, it looks more like a desert style um, because of this nice sandy color on the side and this darker brown on top. Um, it like reminds me of in the Jurassic World games, let's just say Jurassic World Evolution, where they have like the savanna paint job, the, um, the different forest paint jobs, grassland paint job. So it gives some variety to your park. Now, this was really amazing. Um, in release wise as it also came out in the States and other countries as well and it wasn't just a limited thing like the last two Spinosaurus figures where they're super rare and expensive online this guy actually was quite available especially in Walmart and I think maybe Target in the States I didn't really keep up with that um, but the availability made it so fans could finally get the Spinosaurus figure they've been all wanting and it makes for a great repaint. Um, I've seen a lot of amazing repaints online with this guy. And as far as I know, it doesn't really have many metal parts. I think inside the mouth it does. So you can put this guy in the water. Um, and other than that, the joints are kind of loose like the original, but stiff enough that it usually doesn't like fall over like that, um, which is nice. The neck has a decent range of motion. You can have it look down and look up. Um, good for photography as well. The button on the back, like usual, opens the mouth and the tongue kind of springs up. It's on a little bit of a joint there so it can go up and down. And the rest is just basic joints for the legs and the tail. Um, I think the tail can also twist. Not really something you'd think of. It clicks into place like that. I think there's like a little peg, but you can apply some force and twist it. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, now let's kind of show it in the water. S since I've got a cameraman now, um, I can actually have some freedom to do things. I don't really want to touch this water. <laughs> There's a sign back there saying, do not swim. So I'm just gonna avoid that as much as possible. And since I've got doubles of this, I don't mind it getting wet if there is any metal parts in it. fits well in this this like darker brown swampy environment I stand it properly so it won't fall over oh it's so pretty how's that looking guys kind of got a metal thing in the background we can pretend it's site B that's like part of the I don't know embryonics factory or something lab Okay. That was a decent... There we go. Nice and low. I can't actually see the screen, so hopefully that's looking pretty pretty nice. And my phone's starting to get a little hot. So we'll place it over here. Kind of have it... It's a little bit buoyant. I'm sure the water's getting into the body cavity now. So there we go. There is the Spinosaurus. Sure, I've reviewed this figure many times already. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this new background. Kind of nice change for once with the, um, the swampy feel. All these different types of swamp plants in the background and all that jazz. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, and I'll make sure to do another poll on what I should review and what location uh, next time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.